Hello, this is Golden Adam, and we're back with Adam City. We have a few new updates that we've been working on since before we set the entire city up. I know it's only been like two days, but we had these updates prepared for a while, so we just want to throw them out quick. Wow, there's still a snow day going on. So first up is the space station. We have been working on this one for a while now. Last time we showed you we only had the satellite. This time we've got crewmen, we have... And then we have three astronauts ready to climb aboard the spaceship, which is fully custom. You can see back there we used a gun turret as kind of the engine. So we have our fully customizable spaceship. We have our mad scientist figure, which is a amount of exclusive. Oh, where's the camera? There it is. Probably can't see him very well. Anyway, he's got his little computer stand. He's getting ready to... Prepare the launch of the rocket. We have three astronauts. One, two, three. All clad in orange jumpsuits. We have a very dangerous looking box and some hydraulic con stuff. We also have some new little vehicles in the area. We have a little garbage can trash person. And we have an ice cream stand. And a girl who's running the ice cream stand. Isn't she pretty? And presidential election 2016 is coming up, and President Business is running for the president of Bricksburg again. Of course, there's, no one is running against him, since anyone who runs against President Business will be put to sleep. And don't forget, Taco Tuesday is coming up next week, where everyone gets a free taco and my love! Yeah, we know, President Business, we know. But seriously, I do hope he wins the 2016 presidential election. The biggest part of this update, other than the space station, which I'm very proud of, is our fully customized Lego mall. We spent a long time on this one. Uh, it's been in progress. It's over... It's very well over 1,000 pieces. I have my flash on so we can see inside very well. Take a look at the chandelier. Little flags. Let's go around the sides here. We've got some advertisements for other stores. And a little cell phone advertisement. On this side, we don't have much, just a poster. On the top, we have some air conditioning to keep all the patrons inside the mall cool. That is the outside of the mall, but the inside is fully functional. So, let's go ahead and take off the top here. The top comes off all as one piece. On the other side, we used a lot of flat white pieces to keep the mall very stable. So, let's put the roof over here. And let's dive in. This is a one-story mall. And although the outside is kind of garish, the inside is rather nice. So I'm going to start over here on this side. I hope you can see this. This is a little coffee shop, little deli. You can see we have a sign right here. We have someone who's very excited. He wants to buy that sandwich that's currently on display. Unfortunately, he can't eat it since it's plastic. We have a very nice lady running the shop, and it runs an adrenation with the Ninjago shop. We'll get to that in a second. And we also have a very... Insane looking minifigure right here. Um, I think it's kind of gothic. I think he's going into the Ninjago store to buy some swords or something. Alright, I am going to move to the left into the Lego store. What's a Lego mall without a Lego store? The Lego store is kind of cramped, so I'm going to take out this piece right here. And this Lego sign comes all the way off so you can get inside. Alright, so the floor is all yellow bricks. We have the pick-a-brick wall back there and some... Some hair? Some hair? Yuck. Ew, hair. Anyway. Uh, the calling people. Anyway, we have a sales assistant right here. We have a sales assistant right here who's helping a little boy carry a rather large Lego set. He's going to check that out and bring it home. I think it looks rather fun. The Lego store is cramped, but I like the design. Next, we have a sporting goods store. Adidas. Yeah, we chose Adidas. We have a lot of custom Lego prints, so... Let's go ahead and take off this Adidas section, which you can also take out. Let's get inside the sporting goods store. So, our manager is a vet... The, meta, the, vet, the manager of the store is a veteran soccer player. He has his soccer jersey to prove it. He used to be number seven, and he enjoys selling sporting goods to all of his customers. We have a baseball player right here. They sell trophies, they sell baseball caps, and they especially specialize in giant rubber balls, which are the new craze, apparently. 
Go ahead and stick that back on if you want to. And finally, my favorite shop, the Ninjago shop. Um, this is kind of like essential needs for a ninja. And I'm gonna put these back in here. Go ahead and put that back in. Sorry, a lot of hands there. And my favorite shop, the Ninjago shop. Um, one of my favorite parts about the Ninjago shop is how it's angled. This roof is angled and it's got one of those little calligraphy signs. The front of the store is angled, so it's kind of twisted, which gives it, like, that pagoda-style look, like, um, Chinatown, like, um, Ninjago Town. So over there, people could come here to buy their ninja stuff. I'm going to take off that little arch thing, and inside we have DJ Grandmaster Sensei. No, he's not a Dareth. We have swords racked up on the wall, a limited edition mask, a ninja figure, and some Ninjago suits in case you wish to buy one. There's also a printed Ninjago element in the back wall, and a little window for the store manager to see outside. I'm going to put this back on. Then the roof goes back on like such, just lay it back on down, and it's the classic Lego style, the flats and then the raised, so you just push it down, and the roof locks back onto the position. Well, that's all for Adam City this time. If you want to see something, and if we have enough pieces to do it, we'll build it, subscribe, vote prisoner business, or you'll be put to sleep. And until next time, we'll see you later. Goodbye.